I suppose early 2006, I had started to gamble a bit heavier again. I had savings. Myself and my ex-wife had, had savings. Um, it escalated quite quickly. Um, I remember losing a fair bit of sum of money in, in July of 2006 and unfortunately things moved very quickly at that stage where I was gambling for maybe three to four months at a time and had accumulated an amount of 60 something thousand and lost it within one evening when uh, I lost one football bet and that's that's the sort of behaviour that a gambler can achieve when, when an addiction completely takes over their life. It went on five years of my life. Um, you live, I suppose, in an inner, an inner bubble where you are actually living your life physically but mentally you're nowhere near where you think you are. It's a complete life of loneliness. Um, but unfortunately you keep going back to it. And I did. It went from thousands to tens of thousands. Um, I suppose over five years it culminated in over 500,000 of debt. I was going to say I took it, but I stole it. It was... It got the better of me. Sadera Perakherjani. Fortunately for myself and my employers late in 2011, they obviously discovered the fact that I had been stealing money um, to fund this addiction. Um, and the company brought me in and ultimately sacked me. Um, and I went home to, I suppose, to face the facts and to face what had happened at home. You've probably fooled particularly the people that mean most to you over the four or five year period. Um, and you have to face those people first, which was very difficult to face my wife and my family. Um, my employers obviously already knew so, um, but they were heartbreaking times for family and indeed, I suppose the children and, and my family. 